as voters await the results of the legislative election that took place on Sunday, June 4, in Guinea-Bissau, observers say election day in the country went smoothly and without major incident. In the country that endured an attempt to coup d'état last year and has faced instability from drug trafficking, some voters voiced hope for the future. I thought a lot about my country, my people, education, health, and I voted. I am a Guinean citizen. I came to fulfill this duty, to elect a new leader of the government for the next four years, and to serve the people. Election observers drowned from within in the country, regional representatives and international observers said there were a few incidents of post-election violence. However, the National Elections Commission reported that the incidents have been resolved. Some said they were unable to cast their vote like this resident. I couldn't vote because my name is not on the list of registered voters. Most of the leaders of the 20 political parties and coalitions voted in the interior of the country, as the president did in Gabul. Gabul is a town in eastern Guinea-Bissau. But in Bissau, the capital, Domingo Simons Pereira, the leader of an opposition coalition, Pai Terranca, says he's confident the coalition will win again. I walked all over the country. I spoke to many people, and I only heard one message the people's determination to turn the page. Brian McCamara, coordinator of Madame G15, the political party that received the second most votes in 2019 and is now a member of the government coalition, says the time has come for the party to take its turn holding power in Guinea-Bissau. The people believe and everyone knows where the strength of the reason lies, the strength of truth, the will of the majority. The time has come for Guinea-Bissau. 200 international observers who followed the elections said that the process has been free and transparent. Jorge Carlos Fonseca, from the regional bloc, the economic community of West African state, is one of them. We visited several polling stations. It could be a coincidence, but where we were, the atmosphere was always peaceful. International observers will present their report on June 6, and the spokesperson of the National Election Commission, Felice Bertavaz, confirmed to VOA that the Commission is expected to announce the results of the legislative elections that will determine the Parliament and the new government on June 7. From Bissau to VOA, Alvaro Lugero Andrade.